Hello, this is Jared from Yellow Guiding, and in this video we're going to talk about Adobe Lightroom 2. It's a program I use just about every day, and I use it for a lot of different things. So uh, let's get started right away. We're going to be in library mode. Here's our diff five different modes or panels. We're going to be in library mode to start off because we got to tell Lightroom, hey, I've got some pictures here. So the number one way to do that is just hit import. And uh, I've got some photos here that I have uh, that I've transferred over from my blog. And what's great is I'm just going to go here, click the whole folder, and you could go one at a time and pick what pictures you want to bring into Lightroom, or you can just bring in the whole darn thing. So I'm going to click blog photos, I'm going to import all photos, and next comes up this option. You can tell Lightroom how you want to handle your photos. A lot of people do select the option down here to copy photos as a DNG and bring to the catalog. I uh, prefer to keep them in the raw file so I can open up in Nikon if I have to. Um, and I keep them on the hard drives that I uh, assign and you can do it however you like. So I've got 13 blog pictures there and then down here is where things get really interesting. We can do a lot of different settings. Uh, for the number one thing is we can keyword the pictures that we're bringing in. Now in my usual day out I've got pictures of pika, I've got pictures of marmots, elk, mountains, landscapes, sunsets, who knows. So it's, it's kind of tough for me to keyword everything. I often just keyword it uh, Rocky Mountain National Park, that's a good start, but there's some other neat settings here. If we bring it over here to the side of the window, we got previews, so we can go over here and, and see a um, preview. We can look at it for what's what's it's going to be. So if we uh, if bring in here, we can get our previews. Um, I bring it down here to minimal, and we've got, you know, here's our options. Here's the pictures that we're going to bring in. We can blow it up, bring it down. Um, the other thing that's kind of cool, we can do settings on it. If we know, hey, I want to turn all these black and white right away, you can turn them in black and white in one click. We can go right in here to the black and white, or we can do whatever we'd like. So, you know, let's just, you know, let's do antique grayscale. So it's going to do that setting on every one of these pictures beforehand when I bring them in. Now, I don't want to do that here, so we're just going to leave that at none. You can uh, update your metadata to anything you'd like and add keywords. So it's a really nice option. I find that by not showing the preview, it really increases the speed of the import. So we bring that in. It's going to bring in those files, and we've got a progress bar up here. When you're in library mode, you'll have the histogram to bring down. It gives you all your info, which I find is a really helpful piece of information. And you'll have a few different more drop downs over here on the left side, or pardon me, the right side. We got the keywords that you could add, the, the list that you would make, as well as the metadata. And the metadata is pretty extensive when you take the actual picture in RAW. You can see here it's just a JPEG that I had put up on my blog, so not a lot of metadata. You also see some things that you might be familiar with if you've used Adobe Bridge as far as the ranking system. And we can go through and use that. Um, there's another nifty feature. If you don't have uh, your camera to automatically notify that you're uh, using the camera sideways, you can rotate the picture at will. Uh, but we're going to leave that back the way it is little pencil icon means that you've added keywords already so as we put the keyword of blog pick so we go up here to the keyword that's got the location um, Rocky Mountain National Park and blog I already keyworded in these but let's take a look uh, here's a shot of bighorn sheep that I'd like to keyword and we can do that in a few ways there's in the keywording there will be a bighorn uh, sheep potentially that's if there's a keyword I use quite often that's an animal this time of year I'll see quite often but I also have a list of all the different keywords that I would use and all the way down here I've got it set into categories and subcategories I can go all the way down here and I can add or take away keywords I don't want to have the location keyword on there so let's um, go down here to wildlife I want to go to wildlife and I want to give it a ram bighorn sheep keyword and I want to click on the bighorn sheep as well as wildlife. So when I go back up to my keywording box, I've got all those rocked in. Bighorn sheep, ram, Rocky Mountain National Park, and wildlife. So that's a great way to organize your data and this would be why you'd want to do that. Say a client calls me up and they want to see every, you know, see some pictures of a uh, red fox. So I can go down here, I've got just a mere 1,000 pictures of red fox. Now I, I save a lot of my bad pictures for educational purposes later on, but I want to go through and I want to look at just the good ones, the ones I'd actually send to a client. So I click my little arrow here, here's all thousands of my pictures, and you can see in the data here, 
there's got numbers on it. Now down here in the filter, I can select, I want to look at all my three star and above pictures. So if I click that, right away all my three star and above pictures come in. You got this option right here to say if you want to do greater than, equal to, or less than. So I want to always do greater than. I got my three shots. So then I can change my view. This is the grid view where I can see all my pictures. This is loop view. So now I got my big picture and using the arrow keys I can go through or I can click down here on the bottom. I can click any picture I want. You know, this is a shot um, that uh, I've had a lot of folks uh, talk about and it's a really good, a nice shot. I've used it on some other videos. And what's great, we got all the detail here. We've got my information, we can go up to the keyword. You can see it probably doesn't have a lot of keywords other than Red Fox and uh, in the book it's been used in. Um, beyond that, we're going to look at uh, customizing the pictures. The other thing we can use is we can use the color system. So I'm working on a book here. Uh, the Red Fox has been in a few pictures, so I've, I yellow label them. So I can click all my yellow label pictures and bring those in. So it's a nice way to organize. Now there's one other really cool feature I like, and that's the comparison. You can you can compare it, or you can also use the survey view if you want to view a few shots in a row. So if we go to the, uh, you know, let me take this shot here and, and go back to just the uh, unranked shots. And, you know, as we go through, we've got tons and tons of pictures here. Has to load up for a second. Say I want to take a look at, you know, let me find one that's uh, got some some uh, stars. All right, here's a shot. I want to compare these two pictures. So in uh, compare mode, I compare, hold down control, and it will click the next one. It'll compare the shot to the next shot that I click. So there's my two shots. Which one's sharper? You know, obviously in the way this, this is downgraded, um, it looks way over sharpened in this view, but you can see the light really wasn't great here. This is the post-processing aspect, and I can look through and compare my two shots, or I can bring it up and uh, say I've got four shots. You know, here's my four shots. Which one do I like? All right, there's my winner. I can close out any shot that I don't like. All right, bring it down to just a few. There's my winner. Okay, I'm going to give that one the three stars, and it's already been rewarded. So I can go in and I can say, you know what, I'd like to give that four stars. Just type the number four. Four comes in. I want to change it back to three. Hit three. I want to give it zero. I could hit zero. I want to keep it at three right now. It's a great system, great way to organize. And keywording is really the best way to go if you've got a lot of stuff. You know, I've got just 63,000 pictures loaded up on Lightroom here. So it's tough to keep track of, especially if I want to look at just my good pictures. So we're going to go to some shots. Um, that I took with James Frank on a uh, nice day at fall in uh, Bear Lake to look at the better aspects of Lightroom on editing as well as organizing. So we'll see that in the next video.